what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and today um as you can see by the caption i'll be showing you how to use baby powder for a baking translucent do not use this daily it's not made to be used daily um it's just made for when you run out of your regular baking translucent or you don't want you about to run out of it you don't want to use the last bit of it this is something you can use it works well um and what else do i need to tell y'all i think that's it so yeah let's get right into it so as you can see i wear glasses so i have to take my glasses off and i will be using a little side mirror because i cannot see y'all so i'm going to start with my cover girl primer and just really rub this on like lotion i like this stuff I need two bottles of water. That stuff is kind of expensive, though. Okay, so now for my eyebrows. This is what I start with first. Um, I have been before like a Bertie, Bertie, um, filling for my eyes for my stay. This right here. So it looks like I need to buy some more of this as well. And it came with a spoolie and an angle brush to apply. So I'm gonna clean up my eyebrows here. I just um, did a cleanser on my face and the little top stuff is on my face. So yeah. So I just go up up down down then i take this and i i, I left it um open one day by mistake and i think it kind of dried out so now i have to use it roughly and i have thick eyebrows so i really just start um at the tail and drag it down and then i work my way up the top of my brow and then I'm going to go do the same thing at the top I was I was uh, wondering if I should do a talk through or talk over but I just decided to do a talk through for my first name um, and my makeup is pretty simple day to day for now i just recently started wearing makeup um i used to only wear makeup for special occasions and i got it done by someone so yeah now i just do a little bit of filling in here and there and then my tail i like it kind of be full and lengthy so i just drag that out some more i rub my hand through it and then Just make sure I got everything. And then as you can see, yep, there you go. I'm going to just do the same thing to the other one. As you can see, 
Now, I'm going to highlight my, um, under my, under and above my eyebrows and also my eyelid with LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I have the color Fawn. I love this stuff. I have to buy some more. Um, and I apply mine with a brush because I, I, I just had started having to because your girl concealer would be all in her brow at moments because I'll be trying to make your eyes so straight but I don't have steady hands so and I'm just shaping the brow and my go here at the top I don't dip mine back in my concealer as less needed to um And then this is for my eyeshadow to stay. Well, yeah, to stay and look, have a color. But basically, so you can actually see it. Um, yeah. I got this from a YouTube channel that I, a YouTube video that I watch. I can put a channel below if I don't forget. Should look like I'm sorry I'm back making noise but yeah I don't feel like you can see this so I have three beauty blenders now so this one I use for my um my brows and my lid and you see how little these things are I was so mad when I got these things um I ordered them from Amazon and it was 99 cents so I'm guessing you get what you pay for but I didn't think this would be this little because it was not like that on the advertisement and I was heated At this point, I'm just repeating the same steps over and over, and I'm speeding it up for you guys because I don't want it to get too repetitive and boring. I need my recording chair. So, if you can see the brows. Yeah, if you can see the brows. Okay, so, let me stop it and take care of it. Now it's time to apply foundation. And I use the L'Oreal True Match, and I have the color Cocoa, 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 
Come here. And C8. So what I do is I just apply a reasonable amount onto the back of my hand and that is about it. If I need more, I'll go back in, but sometimes I just don't. Then I take this beauty blender and I use the back of it and I apply foundation to parts that I know that needs it. Okay, so we're going to start under the eye. As you can see, it comes together in due time. I just honestly feel like you guys can't see me. We'll see what I'm doing, basically. And work up to forehead. Make sure you get your hairline. That is the most important. And I wear glasses, so you probably can see, like, um, right here, those dents you see. Yeah, I can't stand it. So, and then I take my glasses off, makeup be on it, and I feel like Jesus. I'm gonna go in on my jaws, like, one more time. Because I feel like I can't. my face and I need my highlighter brush and I um, see it so, and honestly y'all I do not know the equal tools because I bought these from Walmart and this is the pointed concealer brush if you can see um yeah it came with like six or seven brushes um I haven't bought any more brushes so okay so what i do is i take the concealer i drag it out here i drag down i basically make a triangle and then i go back in my concealer so i can fill in this triangle I don't really squeeze any more out because I just feel like that's overdoing it. So, yeah. There you go. And let's put a little bit more. Okay. So, I'm going to squeeze it out again for the other side. Right around there. And then I'm just going to do the same. When you get to this point, I actually do this technique a little bit different now. Um, as far as when I'm like um, putting it on. And I'll show you that in another video. So then, I do the, the nose, the chin, the right here. I forgot what you call that. Um, freak, I forgot what you call it. And then, yeah, the, my forehead. As soon as I got it bare nose, I forget. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do my nose first. And I, sorry y'all. And I lined it like this. Then I drag the rest of it up for that middle one. Then I take it out and then out. So chin, I just do that. And then a little bit here. 
and that is my face when I'm highlighting. So I'm gonna go back in with my green beauty blender, and I'm going to clean all this up. So I just go under eye like this, and then I switch it most of the time because it kind of blends better to me. But I use this with the tip for my under eye. So what you want to do for baking, you want to take your baby powder and I put mine in like my mirror. Just dab some in there. Yeah, it can be messy, but it works. So then I take this beauty blender, I take the bottom of it, I dab it in here, then I just go over the places that I highlighted, I'm gonna need some more, <laughs> and it doesn't stick, it really, it comes off easy, I've seen like reviews of other powders and they're like it sticks and stuff so I'm getting messy as ever but whatever um yeah so then my nose, forehead, So, and like I said, do not use this every day. I don't know. I'm not really letting this bake. I'm trying to clean this mess up. But, anyways, then I take my powder brush and I take my True Match powder. And it's in the same color as my foundation, I believe. Yep. And I'm gonna use. It also comes with a pad and a mirror. So, since my mirror is occupied with powder, I'm going to use this mirror. So, I take my powder and I just brush the baby powder away. See how easy it is coming off? Like, amazing. And just 
brushing away. Okay, you guys, sorry for that interruption right then, but um, at this point soon, my camera is going to start acting up, but I am going to come back and show you the finished face, and I told you that I would um, put up some flashing videos. Apparently, I cannot find those videos that I took um, because I recorded this video like two weeks ago, and I'm just now editing and uh, putting it up, so therefore, you will see the finished look in a few minutes. Sorry, you guys, I said videos I meant flash photos sorry hey guys sorry um that I couldn't finish the tutorial something went wrong with my camera but I just came back to show you like the finished look I added some eyeshadow as you can see I did mascara if you can see that and um I did a glossy lip. I will link everything in the description box to tell you what I use and everything. Um, and I will post um, some flash videos so you can see if I was right or really look normal with the baby powder. Um, and this is just and something that everyone can use um, when you're running out or when you just want to try something new. Nothing for a day day to day basis. No, please do not because. Johnson & Johnson really states that you do not need to put this on your face. But, thank you for tuning in. And, if you want to see more, please let me know. And, um, yeah. Remember to like, subscribe. Please like, 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 and subscribe to my channel. You will be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Ziggy eggs. Open up the champagne. Pop. It's my house. Come on. Turn it up. Uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins. Cause we've done this before, so you come on in. Yeah.